What's up guys? My name is Greg and thanks for joining me for the short video today. Before we're going to start, we are officially on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Help me reach my goal just by subscribing. So recently I've seen these videos and pictures on social media and YouTube of the specific method of how to hide a screw. And I actually want to test this theory and see if I can incorporate it into my everyday projects. So there's a few wood species. I want to try this method and actually see if it works. Starting from hardwood to softwood. Let's go. So for this experiment, we're going to use five different types of wood species. Three harder woods and then two softer woods. For my first attempt, as you can see, this wood is called African mahogany and this wood is very hard. This is ultimately going to be my first attempt of trying to lift the wood up slightly and as you can see, the wood is just too hard. thought by myself what if I made some guidelines this would definitely work better This is going to be my second attempt. This is also a hardwood and it's called Kiyad. And maybe we have some better luck this time. And remember guys, while you're at it checking out all my failed attempts, remember to like this video. Moving on to our third hardwood, this is called blackwood. It is not as hard as African mahogany and it's not as soft as pine. This is somewhere in between.
Now we're moving on to our fourth wood species. This is one of our softer woods. This is called rubber wood and this definitely stood a better chance than the harder woods. Now we're moving on to the last wood species, this is called pine, and out of all the other wood species I had the most success with the pine wood.
then I decided to change my technique a bit, not hitting the chisel with the hammer, but rather to wiggle the chisel with my arm and definitely had more success by hitting it with a hammer. I decided to stop the experiment here because I had no success at all. So my three different hardwoods definitely didn't work. I obviously knew this, but I wanted to try out the methods anyway. My two different softwoods, pine and rubberwood, definitely stood a better chance. What's my conclusion after all of this? Would I use this specific method in my everyday wooden projects? Definitely not. After numerous attempts, I kept on failing and failing and failing. And if you are busy with a wooden project, this method is way too risky for damaging your wood. I would definitely not recommend this method for hiding your screws. I would however in the near future make a video on the different methods of hiding screws. So this is all for today guys, I honestly hope you enjoyed this video. Before you go, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. Thanks guys, cheers for now.